Do you want to make cinematics like this? I can show you a way to do it. Let's start. First, we need a level and a character, and then we can focus on first step of making a cinematic for your game or movie clip. Now go to Sequence button and add a level sequence, and name it a Master Sequence. It has a better use for it, that's why I'm naming it Master Sequence. Now add a another level sequence, and name it whatever you like. I will call it Character Cinematic. Double-click on New Sequence, and now we have to add a camera to record. So click on plus button and add a cine camera actor. And drag this camera from Outliner to Sequencer. If the camera icon in Sequencer is white, and you move around in your viewport, the camera will also move around the way you want. That's how you can animate camera to make a cinematic. After clicking on drop down T on Cine Camera Actor in your Sequencer. And here we have a Transform Settings. We will use Transform to make cinematics. I added a T-frame by clicking plus button, and this T-frame has information about where our camera is in the viewport. And if I want make a cinematic path, I will go to another frame in Sequencer, and then I will change the position of camera. And I will add a T-frame again. And we also have to change camera focus settings, so our character can stay in focus while camera move around. For that, go to Details Panel, and go to Focus Settings, and use Selection Tool, and select your object you want in focus. Sometimes it doesn't work properly, so we can adjust the focus manually, and set it for our character. Don't forget to add T-frame for focus distance, because focus distance can be dynamic, and you have to add more T-frames for focus accordingly. Once you add a T-frame, and then you change the value of focus distance, it'll add a keyframe automatically. And now our camera moving around the way we moved it inside viewport. And now we need another sequencer with new camera actor. And I will set up the camera movement again. It'll take few seconds to set up new sequencer. Now it's time for us to move to the master sequence. Once master sequencer is opened, we can drag both cinematic sequences to this sequence, and we also have to trim the empty frames so we can make it a clean shot for our game cinematic. After adding second cinematic sequence, we need to change the working range value because cinematic scenes can be so long, and we have to add all the shots here. I will set it to 500 because it looks enough for me. And you can see our both cinematic shots are inside a one master sequence. Also, there's one more benefit to using a master sequence. If you want to make changes to your cinematic shots, you can go to that sequence and make changes. And all those changes will be updating on master sequence. And once all of your scenes are done, you can render your master sequence and edit in inside DaVinci Resolve. I know you will say it looks nothing like Black Myth Wukong cinematic, but this is the first and final step of a great cinematic. Only two things left. If you add a short animation, this character, and also if you add a music, this normal cinematic can look 100 times better. Music is most important thing. Mix it with SFX and you're good to go. For example, watch this cinematic scene from Black Myth Wukong with and without music.
I hope you learned something new. If you want more detailed videos, let me know in comment section.